The fastest sliding track on earth has claimed its first life. Hours before the Vancouver Olympic opening ceremony, a luge racer from the former Soviet Republic of Georgia died after a training run crash. The day before, some Team USA luge athletes were asked if the course was too fast. I think uh, we're probably getting close. <laughs> the track's fast. It certainly is. Um, and uh, you definitely have to be on your game from 11 down. And uh, so... Um, I think that's definitely something that they're going to have to take into account when they design future tracks. It's definitely it's it's getting very close because we we had a crash um, when the the track was opened up when we homologated the track and we crashed right at the the fastest section um, in between 14 and 15, and it's just a simple rollover, not not a big deal. We weren't bruised or anything, but when I hit that ice, going 90 miles per hour, it's it turns into fire. I remember coming around to the finish, and I just want to rip off my suit. I'm like, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Ah. <laughs> the Georgian sledder lost control of his sled, went over the track, and struck an unpadded steel pole near the finish line at the Whistler Sliding Center. The remainder of the Luge training runs were canceled Friday. A dark shadow has been cast over what is supposed to be one of the most exciting days in Canadian history. Mark Carlson, the Associated Press, Whistler, British Columbia.